All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to solve quadratics by factoring. Okay, so we've already talked about how to solve uh, by taking the square root or the square root property or solving for x, and now we're talking about factoring. So uh, usually with factoring, what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to solve for x. So I can't solve this problem for x because I have multiple variables and they're of different degrees, so I can't add them together. So that basically eliminates that first option because I have more than one variable. Uh, and factoring, I usually factor when I can factor. Uh, it's usually an easy method for me to use to solve a quadratic. Uh, what I do need to know is, unlike the last method, the square root property, uh, is that I've got to set it to equal, uh, set it equal to zero first. So if I have zero over here, great. But if I don't, I need to get zero over there first. And uh, when I factor, there's basically a couple things I can do. Uh, we go through the steps of factoring. First thing I always love to do is to set uh, uh, factor out a common factor. Sorry, thinking ahead a little bit here. So my common factor in this one is going to be 2x. And then uh, factoring is basically division. So I take this and divide it by this, and I get 2x. Negative 2x divided by 2x is negative 1. At this point in time, this is a monomial, so I can't factor it any further. This is a linear binomial, so I can't do anything with that. So uh, now what I'm going to do is use the zero product rule that says if you are multiplying one thing by another thing and you get zero as your answer, either the first thing has to be equal to zero or the other thing has to be equal to zero. So once you get it in factored form, you'll set both the factors equal to zero and solve. Uh, we would divide both sides by two here and get x equal to zero. Here I would add 1 and then divide by 2. So again, just a couple little things you need to know about quadratics. You will get two solutions. So as you can see, I got two solutions to my problem. And uh, yeah, so factor first, set your factors equal to 0, solve them.